I need to get better on camera. My water. Hey guys, welcome to our video on epoxy. We're gonna discuss the eight epoxies that we use in our shop. We use these every day, so we're pretty knowledgeable on, on each of these items, and we're gonna teach you how we use them, why we use them, and what we use them for. The last thing you want is to use the wrong kind of epoxy and end up with you know, it yellowing or it failing on you, whether it doesn't cure properly or it cracks. Today we're gonna to cover the Acfix 705, We've got the Super Clear 24 hour. We've got the Super Clear Thick Pour, the West Systems 105 with the 207 hardener. And then we've got the Acfix five minute epoxy in both black and clear. And this is the UV epoxy from Ecopoxy, the Flowcast, that's what we use on all our big river tables. And then a brand new product from Ecopoxy, which is the Flowcast SPR. So, before I start talking about the first epoxy, I just wanna say it's important to buy your epoxy from somewhere that uses it because they're gonna be able to answer your questions and help you troubleshoot if you have any issues and help you select the right product. So when you order on Amazon, you, you're not gonna get the customer service you need. They've never done the pours on Amazon. So it's important to you know, buy products from a reputable person or company that you know, can help you troubleshoot the issues. All right. First things first, I think every shop has to have this. This is the Acfix 705. We use this mainly for little small pinholes. So after you CNC flatten your cured piece, you typically expose the odd pinhole just from bubbles that were trapped. And you know, you're not gonna use a deeper pour epoxy to fill those because it just won't cure, it'll take forever. So this guy, it's nice because you put a few drops in the pinhole and then you give it a quick spray with the, uh, the activator and you're ready to go pretty much instantly and you can keep working and not be waiting for another day or two for the epoxy to cure. One more thing we use, well, a few more things we use the Acfix for is uh, you know, if we're doing quick fixes or repairs in the shop and we need to glue you know, two pieces of wood together for a jig or, I mean, I use this at home all the time with three young kids who are breaking toys all the time. I use this probably every week fixing toys. It's quick, they, you know, they can play with it right away. Uh, Honestly, I think every house needs this and every shop needs this. It comes in handy in more ways than I even imagined. Now, the second product we're gonna cover is the Super Clear 24 Hour. Now, this is designed for pores, you know, up to one inch, more than a quarter inch. Uh, you know, we mainly use it on smaller fills like these or even up to these one inch sort of cast or river type pores. It cures in 24 hours, hence the name. Uh, so it's kind of nice to not have to wait, you know, three days for a deeper pour epoxy to cure on a smaller pour. It gets your production up and you can kind of keep moving forward without having all this downtime of waiting for epoxy to cure. The next one is the super clear thick pour. Now, this would be kind of the equivalent of a Ecopoxy flow cast where it's designed for deeper pours. They advertise this as pouring up to four inch. We've never actually poured up to four inch, but if you have, let us know in the comments how your experience was. We've mainly used this, this epoxy for uh, pouring up to two inch, which is our standard table. It cures slow, so you don't end up with bubbles trapped in it, and it cures clear, which is nice if you're doing clear pours. This product from Super Clear is the equivalent of the Flowcast from Ecopoxy if you're looking to compare products. Next up, we've got the West Systems 105 with the 207 clear hardener. Now, the main thing we use this for is small voids. If we're finishing our day and we've got some, some voids to fill in, in our you know, table or coffee table slab, we will use this. We can mix pigment with it and it'll cure by the time we come in the next day. We also do a lot of these lake boards. So, you know, this is engraved on a laser. It's only about an eighth of an inch deep but it cures up really nice when doing smaller pours like these. You don't wanna pour this epoxy too thick because it will heat up and it'll bubble and it'll just be a poor experience overall. The next epoxy that we use pretty much every day in our shop is this five minute epoxy from Acfix. Comes in black and clear. We mainly use this if we're you know, working on a live edge slab and 
there's a knot or a crack, nothing too big, and we want to kind of keep working on it that day, we'll mix up a bit of this uh, into a, we normally use like a little tiny cup, but this product comes as a two part and you can mix it together in this little mixing tray that is built into the packaging, but then it kind of becomes a mess and we actually prefer to just mix it in a small mixing cup and then we can pour it into the knot or the crack. The next product that we use is the Ecopoxy UV Poxy. Now, this would be comparable to like a tabletop epoxy. It's designed for pours up to a quarter inch. So we'll use it on boards like this where we've got, you know, your one eighth or a quarter inch deep. It cures up in 24 hours, which is nice. So you can start working on your piece the next day. Uh, you can also do flood coats with this. So if you were doing say a bar top or a bar table and you wanted that quarter inch thick clear epoxy finishing on it, this is what you would use. It's self levels, it's clear, it's a nice product to work with. Uh, we typically don't use it for that application just because we use oil finishes for ours, but we've done it in the past and a lot of our customers use it. You can do deeper pours with this, you just have to layer it. So you pour a quarter inch, let it cure, scuff up the surface so that the new pour adheres to the first pour, and then you can pour another quarter inch and technically you can build it up as thick as you want. This Ecopoxy Flowcast, this is the main epoxy that we use in our shop for all of the river pours and you know deeper castings that we do. So this is designed for pours up to inch and three quarter, but we push the limits on it. We'll pour two inch, two and a quarter if the conditions are right. So, you know, they recommend inch and three quarter, but we'll pour up to that thicker thickness if we've got the right shop temp and we've got some fans to dissipate the heat. Uh, you, you don't wanna just pour this at two and a quarter inches in a hot shop and then hope for the best because you'll probably run into some issues. We'll typically, you know, pour this at two inch, you know, at 20 to 80 liters, which is quite a bit more than what they recommend, but we'll make sure our shop temp is low to slow down that exothermic reaction. And we'll make sure that we have a couple fans running over the piece to help dissipate the heat and allow it to cure slower. The, the time you run into issues with this is if your shop temp is too high or too hot and it just, the exothermic reaction kicks a lot quicker and it cures too fast, which leads to bubbles being trapped in it or it cures in a brittle fashion, so it'll, it'll actually break a lot easier and crack. Uh, you, you want this to cure slowly, and you can control that through shop temperature, volume of pour, fans to dissipate the heat. Some people even build their own cooling tables. That's like a little extreme, but it helps you control the temperature of the cure, which really helps. Now, our last product is a brand new product from Ecopoxy. Uh, it's called Flowcast SPR. And the SPR stands for Small Project Resin. And it's designed to do those pours that are quarter inch up to one inch thick. So if you're doing serving boards, charcuterie boards that are using wood and epoxy, it is ideal for that. It cures in 24 hours and it's, you know, it saves you from using a 72 hour curing epoxy. So you can pour one day and basically start machining it and working it the next day. So your, your lead times can be shorter, cures up a little faster, which is nice. And yeah, it's a great product. We just started using it and so far we're really happy with it. Uh, it's also a, at a better price point than this. So, you know, if you wanna save a bit of money and do smaller pours, I would definitely start with this. But if you're gonna go do coffee tables, dining tables at that, you know, inch and three quarter, two inch thickness, this won't be your product. You'll wanna stick with the Ecopoxy Flowcast. So if you wanna build a coffee table or a dining table that is wood and epoxy, that's you know pours up to two inch, you're gonna to wanna to use the super clear thick pour or the Ecopoxy flow cast. Now, if you just wanna do some smaller boards that are up to one inch, the flow cast SPR is gonna be your product or the super clear 24 hour. Now, if you just wanna do some tabletop pours where you finish coat or some shallow engravings, you can use this product, the Ecopoxy UV Poxy. Uh, the West systems can also be used for those engraving fills. The Acfix five minute epoxy in black or clear, that's good for slab work. If you're doing some smaller knots and fills and 
you want to keep working on the product that day. And this, you need in your shop, regardless of what you're doing, it comes in handy in so many different ways. So these are the eight epoxies that we use every day in our shop. Uh, you know, be careful when buying epoxies. You definitely don't want your epoxies to fail. Uh, when you're finding a company that uses these and can answer your questions, it'll go, it'll save you tons of time and money. Uh, you know, we, we use these every day, so we can answer all your questions. You can either call the office, uh, send us an email, leave us a comment on this video if you have a question about any of these products, we'd be happy to answer. But yeah, you just, you don't want your projects to fail because this equals an angry customer and you know, the last thing you want is a customer calling, complaining about a product that you spent a lot of time and energy on. It's just not good for business. Let us know in the comments if you use any of these, what your experience has been, if you use other brands and what your experience has been because I kind of want the comments section to become a place for people to learn more about not only these brands, but other brands and what people's experiences were, whether it's good or bad. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe and uh, let us know what you want to see next.